Right now, Mayor Johnson taking questions from reporters after city council members punt on two of his top agenda items. WGN's political reporter, Taman Bradley, live at City Hall with the latest on that. Taman. Mike and Ray, good evening. Today, government slowed down. Two controversial financial measures were delayed by the mayor's allies until the council reconvenes on Friday. Mayor Johnson will have to keep waiting for a final vote on two massive financial measures of enormous importance. Today, not long after the full city council gaveled in, the mayor's allies used a procedural maneuver to delay votes. One item was to approve $70 million in migrant funding to make good on a reported promise Mayor Johnson made to Governor Pritzker and Cook County President Preckwinkle months ago. Mr. President, uh, Alderman Vasquez and I wish to defer the item number one and item number two of the Budget Committee report. The other delayed measure was the mayor's $1.25 billion bond plan. Mr. President, Chairman Irvin and I requested defer and publish. The ambitious plan, which would raise funds for affordable housing and job growth, made it out of the Finance Committee, an important first step. But some alders were reluctant to sign off without stricter city council monitoring. Simply, I wanted more aldermanic oversight over how we spend billions of dollars, of, of, of our tax dollars, frankly, in this bond deal. Uh, and sadly, we fell a few votes, votes short today. The mayor's allies say despite the delay, they're confident both packages will get final approval. So did you have the votes then this morning? Uh, I think for the bond, for sure. I think for the uh, 70 million, I think we're there, but it's kind of close, right? After council, the mayor reacted to the delay. There are um, individuals that want to uh, opine or um, articulate and express their, uh, their hopes and aspirations for this mission, uh, but there are still questions to be, to be asked. Also delayed today, a shot spotter measure that would say alders in each ward can decide whether or not to use the tech. The plan for now is to come back on Friday and sort out some or all of this. Live tonight from City Hall, Taman Bradley, WGN News.